my work at Pace University Law School, which has one of the top environmental law programs, I, I do a lot of international work, and I've worked for years with China, which has the most incredible uh, pollution problems. Not unique, because they do appear uh, in other areas, but it's so severe in the city of Beijing, the capital of China, that they had to close down not only all the governments, but all the stores and people were told to stay home uh, uh, because of the health dangers from pollution. So I've been working for many years with uh, a leading uh, environmental law expert in China, and we decided that we would do a joint study how Los Angeles went about reducing its pollution uh, problems, uh, uh, which is quite a remarkable story, yeah? uh, because Los Angeles, uh, 25, 30 years ago, the pollution was so heavy that uh, you couldn't uh, see across the street. With the sunshine of Los Angeles making its atmosphere the most ozone-laden in the world, one solution offered by the scientists was to find out which materials reacted with the sun to form ozone and to filter them out before they reached the open air. So we decided we would do a study in what steps Los Angeles took and how it came about and how they overcame the resistance of uh, corporations that said, uh, you know, it would cost so many jobs and it would be economic be disastrous uh, uh, to take the steps necessary to clean up the pollution. Turned out to be the greatest job creator. There are more jobs being created in solar energy and wind energy here and around the country and around the world. I came here to learn from your organization uh, what steps were taken and uh, uh, how it was done and we're going to produce a study uh, with uh, Beijing uh, to show the steps that Beijing is trying to take to overcome its problems, but hopefully produce a study that will be useful to any uh, uh, community or city that uh, is experiencing uh, serious uh, air pollution problems.